Hey, so we're doing a little thing on bags today and uh, how I mix my sub for my um, for my gourmets. So I used to mix it in these buckets. And oh, look, I used to do that. Problem I find is it actually takes longer. It's uh, what happens is after you, I mix, I could mix like six bags in here, several bags. I had to weight measure everything, put in this. Well, the water soaks to the bottom. And so then you get an uneven mix in, of water inside your tub. So then you end up having to mix it again and again uh, because there's water here, not enough water here. So you get an uneven mix of water in your bags. So you get some bags that are soggy, some bags that are not. And the mix doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't mix that great in a tub. And I see lots of people doing it. I tried it. I don't like it. I also see guys, and they're mixing their stuff in a giant, um, in a giant um, cement mixer. That takes longer too. Yeah, because then you're mixing twice. I'll show you why. So I do everything by weight. So one pound of hardwood fuel pellets. One pound of soy pellets. And then I fill it up, and then I weigh my water too. My water, I fill my water up till this bag is an even six pounds. That's more water than it requires, but I find because I'm in a drier climate, um, it helps with my second flushes if I add the extra water. Now here's my mixing, check it out. Boom, there you go. Put on the table like this. And let them sit there till they're plump and good. And that's when I wrap them. Wrap a bag. Here's how I hold them. Patch here goes on the inside. Patch goes facing in is what I mean. Go around like this. You notice I Hold it right out. I like to make everything straight so that when I go to use my bag sealer, I don't have troubles with folds in the bags. And there we go. Ready to go. Let me show you. Here's what they look like when they come out. Sealed. Good to go. Here's what they look like when they go in. And can you see how much? Yeah, you can see how much water I got in there. Water's right up to here. Okay. Let's put what how I got how much water I got left when I'm done. And they and I set them like this. So it seals up and the next set of bags facing down like that. And then you always have to have a lid or something so that it doesn't block any of the holes here so it's going to prevent these bags that expand with with from the heat and the pressure and the air these bags puff up and they'll they'll block your gauges and so that's what these puppies look like now if you're one of the folks who are worried about if you notice if you noticed there's no no, nothing. I got nothing lining my PCs. So again, with the lid, you can put a old um, pillowcase. And I just tie it on top like this, and I put my bags in the pillowcase. If you're worried about them getting burnt or stuck to the sidewalls of your PC, and then I run these puppies for two and a half hours and. 15 psi and uh yeah i think that's it that's all Toodaloo.